We've got Misfits Luna, Gatsu coming from Florida. It's always good to see Gatsu come around. And I, yeah. I, I'm a huge 20GX fanboy. I know I talked about this last time. Oh, I remember. But if you want to know a few things about the, the 20GX tech chase it's... and how you set it up and how you can be mindful about it, please just ask. Falcon is honestly one of the more fine-tuned machines of Melee. Oh, yes. He requires so much to be able to make work at a high level. And I think I, th I think it's great at how many different sort of styles there are to it. Oh, he's very adaptable. Yeah. You know, you, you have the Wizzies, but just a few spots away, you got the STJs and the Nuns. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and I think I think Nun is just absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always interesting with the Florida Falcons to sort of see their 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 methodology. Their ideology. Yeah, well, you know, uh, recently, now that uh, Gravy no longer plays. Captain Falcon, he's a fox man on the Smash Fox yep, yep, yep. Recently, uh, Sechi, that UK Falcon who's been making... Sechi's amazing. Huge moves. I saw a set against Professor Pro. Uh, Gatsu and Sechi have teamed up on the 20GX YouTube channel from now on. So Hell it's yeah. going to be okay. so much hype optimal Falcon uh, theory crafting in yeah. the future. We had some hype optimal Falcon, but it started off with an air dodge. My uh, Falcon is the great American matchup, in my opinion. I, and I really love it. Oh, yeah. And you actually get to see Marth Tech Chase in this matchup because his up throw follow-ups are not so guaranteed, even yeah. though he's a fast follow. Captain Falcon's just too heavy. Yep. Wait on an up throw. But, all right. That's that. He'll just go ahead and let that ride. A few I, crucial mistakes. There is an immediate forward throw like before Go even left the screen. Yeah. So I, I'm imagining that maybe Gazu didn't have his counterplay ready there. But yeah, no, he uh, he kind of got stuck in it. He's not quite sure to get that grab. Ooh. Looks like he went for the platform re-wave land. Good patience. Get that low up there. Okay. Falcon's jump squad is Ooh. such a killer in this match. We do have the dark side of Wolverine in here, too. Yeah. I, I more prefer to white mouth, you know, honestly, because I want to see the day where my mouth mids national. But two scoop up airs should end the stock. The one thing the Falcon does has yep. is the edge guard is very flow charted, at least. I <laughs> won't say the one thing the Falcon does have. This is a, a matchup ripe with counterplay from both sides. But generally, at top levels of play where the punish game is this unforgiving, I want to give the edge slightly to Marth. In wow. my opinion. Just getting that draw grab and another one continuing through after the nair. Oh, That's actually cancel. something that you see. Uh, you're able to come up from the platform and follow where Marth goes and get the down air on reaction. Mm -hmm. And it's actually fantastic. Um, something that was discovered just a few months ago, if not a year ago or so. Oh, big, big bold moves. I like it. But you can, you can get forward through a wobble in this matchup. You can. And there are percents where it won't knock you down very, very low. But still, if you're just not acting immediately out of it, Marth can just dash forward and get you again. Nice uh, DI mix up there, set up for the down air stage. Ooh. Preemptive. Oh, he has double jump. I don't really know if Marth Killer. Maybe he just didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. That Daryl put him into stagger, which gives Mar uh, Moon a little bit more maneuverability. But Gotsu's still maintaining his crouch cancel percent, and he should make this edge burn. Right. Now, just don't get immediately cornered by Marth with those fares during invincibility. Nice. Use the top platform, but. Yep, and. Oh, poor Captain Falcon. Falcon. This is the true air wobble, I feel like. Falcon recovery. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excellent spacing on that downer. He delayed it until the later part of his full jump. So he could get the nice, like, you know, choose to fastball once he knows that it's going to hit. Our entire platform. Wow. Ken, like, the king of smash. Pushing it all the way through. Well, I think it's the lean back for the third. Like, the one, two, he lunges out, and then he kind of brings it overhand for the third and that tends to shield poke. I've seen Mewtwo can do crazy stuff with the fourth hit with a real like glancing overward where he Oh it can just completely ruin your life. Yeah, and especially if you're not already holding down. Right. Gotsu was one of the first Falcons I feel who um, innovated the use of buffering ASDI down during those long, long dash dances to kind of yeah. scope out crouch cancel with moves like that. ASDI down is actually horrifying. <laughs> One of the more questionable design choices in Melee, but uh, because of that, Sheik is bearable to play against. Sheik is bearable to play against, because you can literally run at her holding your C-Stick if you buff her during the dash. It's a good feel. It's, it's a good way to be. Now, with the 20GX Tech Chase in the pocket, this is definitely not a Marth favorite stage. No. And it's harder to get Marth to take the ground off of your throws, but then again, you also have the up throw mix-ups where you can go with uh, an early nair, or like an up air, and if you catch him with a scoop, that's it. Past 40%, I mean, up air, up air suddenly becomes a lot better of an option. Marth can't do as much to get those forward airs out. Ooh, very, very silky. Yeah, very smooth ledge. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. The 20GX Falcons definitely have the ledge tech on point. I even see them use weird stuff like ledge dash jab that you don't know if you Falcons go for. 
Oh, oh fantastic dash nice. nice. Okay, a little bold there. Reaching, reaching rapid boost. All right, yeah, just knowing that that roll is going to come in eventually. Was a good Making his intention to reclaim center stage a little telegraphed. Yeah. But I do like in certain situations where he gets the mistech, he does a slight mix up on the timing of whether he's going to neutral stand. Pokes him on away. So, got to. It, having a hard time finding those early grabs, but at the same time, Moon is just not jumping, and he's also calling out Gatsu's jumps very, very effectively. Yeah. But, it was good. Well, that's just, that's just awesome. that quick dash back, dashing grab. Maybe throwing the DI off a little bit. Great Ooh. stomp. Yeah, and I like that he baited it with that little stomp. Uh, sorry, the crouch. It's sort of a, a telegraph that I'm not very mobile. And so in this day oh and age where people... Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. These days where people aren't so great at dashing out of crouch, sometimes you expect a uh, crouch to reach you to the ground a little bit more, but Gansu's incredibly technical, so... Yeah, he's making some bold maneuvers trying to get these Raptor boosts off. Uh, oh man, that stomp. And okay, good tech, tech chase. chase. You're, you, you down throw, you dash, and then wave dash to their point of landing. And at that point, you clear your mind completely so you can be mindful of the visual tells to their tech animation. Yeah. You just want to be reacting. At a certain point, it comes all muscle, and it feels great. Yes. And honestly, there's oh, I'll talk about this in the break between games, but there's a weird concept in the 20 Jones Falcons of mindfulness. Oh, they're, they're big on it. They're big on the art of war. They're big on mindfulness. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, and Jeet Kune Do, yeah. They all love that. Fantastic recovery. Uh, still no jump, though. Grab yeah, that ledge. Good. Anyway, Gravy was th talking about this thing where he'll down throw Fox and get in place position to do the 20JX style tech chase. But right as Fox actually hits the ground, he'll blink to like clear his mind of visual stimulus. And then as soon as he opens his eyes, he can quickly zone in on the tells, usually Fox's feet, to determine uh, the tech animation as quickly as possible. Oh I just think that's really next level tech chasing. Good. Oh, oh no, man. sir. And he got the speed. He had everything. He had everything. Oh stuff. my goodness. What a great, great knee. Oh. This has been a set already defined by its several... Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, huge snags. Huge oh, snag man. from the moon there. And then, uh, ooh, big down smash. I love that falling up there where you just get falcons in, you know, right in front of you. <laughs> oh, uh, bit of a trade. Thanks for that back there. Ooh. And the way that Marth likes to come down on you with aerials sometimes this matchup, the immediate up airs are another mix-up. A lot of times you think about zoning people out with your nair, but oh. Marth has the range advantage in this matchup, so you got to think about using more of the areas a little more creatively. Yeah. Calling out a dash bank back with a really overshoot stomp, stuff like that. Yeah. Making reads against a player of this caliber, they're going to be tough. It's impressive when people do it. Oh, oh, that fantastic edge cancel! Doesn't quite get that overshoot on the grab, but oh, another stop. Oh. oh, kind of a kind of a preemptive a gutsy up here in my opinion. But edge guarding from stage where Marth is there still has his double jump is gonna be tough. Yeah. Just any man to be so gutsy, it's gutsy. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't wear the guts tag. You know, it's, yeah, it's typically his thing. Moon's Maybe he's just still waiting for the next chapter to come out. <laughs> I Maybe know he's I just know. waiting it for not to be terrible. Oh, bro. <laughs> the animation is quite bad. Oh, I don't mess around with your thing. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm here for the moment. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, that's what you get for countering, but... It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just come back. Hack stash. Show me. Oh. Nice. The wave land down. Nice little mix-up, and you're already buffering Crouch. All right, you're just following through on that dash back. All right. Even with the amount of uh, strange happenings we've had here God's his first game. managed to maintain a, a reasonable momentum lead, I'd say. Dash through and then crouch in this side. Yeah, I love these these baiting crouches because oh. Falcons at least right he was still in crouch. All right, and it's falling uh, through. Yeah. Not quite able to get anything off that. Oh, actually what? not there for Another him. Another chance. Not there for him. And the DI was so bad. Let's go. It was so bad. Oh well my done. goodness. Well done. Well done. Smart stuff. Plenty of points. But I will say that uh, I really enjoy these crouches in neutral, making Moon think twice about uh, coming in with that well-spaced fair, or maybe a double fair. Some of these these randy, uh, you know, lunging neutral A's that I yeah. see too. I think you have to be so particular as Marth on Yoshi's, because every time you want to dash back after Moon, you have to consider just how little stitch base you have. Yeah. And every dash back you have can be caught almost immediately, because you're playing, you know, maybe you third of FD. Yeah. Third of Dreamland. And these are two of the most uh, 
apt characters when it comes to quickly asserting stage control. Exactly. Oh, excellent. Getting a little pal European action in there. Doing it, doing it for the fans. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see, oh, see yeah. that DI mix up. But. Randall actually, I think, uh, caught him up there and made it to where he was out of the instability, mm -hmm. if you noted that. And so he was able to get hit by that first meme. Randall will do that sometimes where he gets under your character model and right you as stand you're up on ledge and you so stand. Oh. It'll just break your invincibility. Certain characters uh, can use it to refresh multiple times, mm -hmm. but most, most of the time... Most of the time you're just not expecting it. Because yeah. no one... <laughs> we all talk about being able to watch the clock and know yeah. when Randall's coming, but I've, I've rarely met anyone who actually does it. Oh, that's a jump. Man. Nice! Beautiful. And he gets the edge cancel afterwards, so even if he had missed or Moon got in the tech, he would be in a good position to hit. Exactly. Falcons, uh... Don't do that kind of stomp with them, I think. Yeah, well, I, I think mean, it's risky. It's, <laughs> if you, if you it miss is risky. even a little bit, then you're below ledge, no double yeah. jump. Ooh. I think it's good for characters like Marth, characters like uh, Luigi. Sure, like you Luigi. can stop recoveries. Oh, yeah. yeah. <gasps> the big DPs, if you will. Yeah. Not done on Wake Up, I hope. Oh, no. Wake Up DP? <laughs> risky business. <laughs> oh. Speaking of risky business, being on stage against Marth, one of the riskier ones. Yeah. That and uh, Betamax video rental. Oh my god. <laughs> One thing that uh, I'm really loving from Gatsu is that he will, instead of doing a more traditional Lord Stomp, he'll do Shield Stop, uh, Stomp In, and just use that and sort of clean it up time and The Shield Turn is uh, a, a movement tool and a bait. In, in one move. It's one of the cooler options in melee. And people who can act quickly oh, out of clean. shield clean. are particularly impressive in that regard. Now we're going to a game five here in Dream. Dream you think? I'm smelling Dream. Hmm, hmm. Either that or Stadium. Yeah. But. We shall see. I feel like he would go Dream Land. Yeah. In this situation, yeah. He's a yeah. Exactly, yeah. With the way that Moon's been playing, I think having the space would work around him. And the funny thing to me that Gatsu makes work so well is sometimes how standing in place will work. Yeah. There's that board stop, always beautiful, but missing the conversion off of it. Ooh, getting the ASDA down tech. Excellent. That's huge there, because otherwise you get opened up. Exactly. That's a quick escape. And waits it out. Just barely trades it. Two out of three uh, laid up there on the platform. Ooh. Chasing that bad. No thanks. Tips. No thanks. Put it in the jar. Yeah. Oh, man. Marth throws. Unreactable. Part of what makes his low percent tech chase game so good. Yeah, you yeah. never know if he's going to throw it there. Or that roll in. Put it down here. Forward throw down tilt. Oh, oh God. Snipes the, the guns. All right. Game five starting off pretty rough, but we have seen Gatsu pull back from two stock deficits and turn the game around. Not uh, if he's putting himself in edge guard situations yeah. with a missed gentleman. Now that is not the 20 GX Falcon stuff. No. Missed gentleman. Yeah. This is looking a little rough, and I think Moon is just doing a fantastic job of holding center. And instead of trying to come up with rising fair, he's doing a lot of late. Uh, oh, sorry. late aerials to make yeah. Gatsu stay in shield or maybe a little more rooted to the ground. Yeah. Because even though Marth commits to the jump, he still has the ability to sort of make a spectrum of decisions off of Oh, future. yes. He's got great aerial movement. Yeah. And his fastball is actually pretty potent despite being a semi floaty so. Yeah. Like, he, he's, I think, one of the best characters in terms of how he can work within the context of a jump. Yeah. It's crazy. It's great. Not only that, but he's got forward air and back air, which are just excellent spacing tools regardless of where you're drifting and which direction you're going. Yep. Oh, oh the slight hop back there with the analog drift reacting to whatever instant aerial that Falcon would do there. Alright. That's him holding on to this stock pretty decently. Yeah. Ooh, but an overshoot in air. Very nice. Don't get cornered here. I'd recommend going to ledge, personally, but uh, then again, I'm not in top of That's fair. <laughs> Reverse oh. back air. None like. Oh, oh that was a jump knee. That was a jump knee yeah. for sure. Would have been good to have. Um, Immediately just recognizes the moon has ledge. Bugger's on out of that situation. Nice. Catches the dash back. So. Yep. A little dance there. Yeah. Near the ledge. A little jig. Now, moon's going to look for any sort of trap into a grab. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, he went such hard as... for that overshoot. Yeah. And Falcon's got a substantial butt grab, but putting yourself directly into the corner in this kind of situation has got to be scary. Oh, that's oh. a nair. Oh, Wizzy, a uh, Wispy, <laughs> Wispy, making it very hard to tell exactly where both characters are going to land after that down throw. It's not dead, but he's going to have a rough time getting back here. Both hits in there. And just to find his ground. Oh, solid down tilt. Scott's you crash canceling no, no longer any room for that. What is she? Oh. That shield stop 
Shield stop, shield, shield drop. drop. Knee was just oof, juicy. Florida definitely has some of the best shield droppers, I'll be honest. Cobalt shield drop, Scotsu shield drop, Wizzy shield drop. Plup, Plup, shield drop master. When people talk about being the shield drop master, I'm like, you haven't seen Plup. You haven't seen Plup. You haven't seen Plup. The way Plup moves in a platform fighter is just so insane. So cool. It's crazy. So cool. I played him a dream hacking. He's tech chasing me with an immediate dash all.